All right, guys, this is question 63 from chapter 3, um, Acceleration. And this is for reassessment number 3, standard 3. The question asks, while a construction elevator has a mass of 2,530 kilograms, which moves upward, the force exerted by the cable is 33.6 kilonewtons. What is the acceleration of the elevator? And if at some point in the motion the elevator is 1.20 meters per second upward, what is the elevator's velocity four seconds later? So here I draw my free body diagram. Being that an elevator only moves up and down, the only forces acting on it are tension and mass times gravity. <clears throat> so I have my known values right down here. Mass being 2,530 kilograms, tension being 33.6 kilonewtons, and we are looking for our A, our acceleration in the Y direction. So, this is the starting uh, formula right here we'll be using, the summation of F is equal to zero. Being that there are no forces in the X direction, F of X is gonna be equal to zero. And being that it's an elevator and it moves up and, up and down, um, the formula for F of Y would be T minus G. So I did my calculation here. Um, tension is 33.6 kilonewtons minus mass, which is 25,030 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared, which is gravity, which gives me a total amount of 8,800 newtons. All right. From there, I used the formula F is equal to m times a. Being that we're looking for acceleration, I manipulate the formula around a bit to where it gives me A is equal to F over M. So I plug in 8,800 newtons for the forces, and then for the mass, I put in 2,530 kilograms, which gives me 3.5 meters per second squared upward is the acceleration. All right. For the second part, it wants to find the elevator's velocity four seconds later. So I'm going to use the formula of acceleration, which is change in velocity over change in time, which is A of Y is equal to V2 minus V1 over delta T. So we have our first velocity. We need to find our final velocity, which would be, um, which is unknown at the moment. So what I do here is I'm going to multiply both sides by delta T, and then I'm going to add v1 to both sides to get v2 on a side by itself. Doing so, it gives me this formula here. Delta t, acceleration of y, plus v1 is equal to v2. So I plug in 4 seconds for the delta t, which is the time that they are giving us, times 3.5 meters per second, which is the acceleration that I found in the earlier problem. And then I add 1.20 meters per second, which is the initial velocity. And it gives me 15.2 meters per second upward.